Okay, some details were revealed about John's latest arrest. The thing is, some of the details are conflicting. His fiance, Jesse Moses, says one thing and John says another. But I tried to make a timeline and keep it simple and easy to follow. So apparently, Jones and his fiance are having issues. An argument occurred at Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino, and Jones told Jesse to fuck off. Jones grabbed 10,000 and hit the strip club. When Jones returned from the club, according to Jesse, he was in a bad mood. An argument occurred, and when Jesse tried to leave the room, Jones pulled her hair. I'm guessing Jesse must have got out the room because she went to the front desk and asked for a key to her room. Jesse was then approached by a security guard who noticed Mrs. Jones looking troubled and disheveled and had blood on her clothes and her lips were swollen. When asked about her appearance and well-being, Jesse burst into tears and revealed she did not feel safe and did not want to go back to her hotel room. After this, she was taken to a security room where Jones and Jesse's youngest child asked for the police to be called. This domestic episode took place right in front of the kids. The cops were called and they stated Jesse seemed afraid to even talk about Jones. When the police entered the room, they saw blood on the bed sheets and shoes scattered around. The authorities also revealed Moses seemed very concerned with how soon Jones would be released from jail. Jesse also refused to follow restraining order. When the police approached Jones, they say Jones broke into tears and was just an emotional roller coaster, going from irate to crying to calm. During this emotional turmoil, Jones headbutted the hood of a police vehicle. While detained, Jones joked and expressed interest in fighting all the cops at the same time. Jones also said he simply didn't remember earlier parts of the night that his fiance Jesse reported to the police. Recently, Jones posted on his IG stories alluding to the influence of alcohol as being the cause of his latest arrest. Whether it's substance abuse or CTE, this latest episode is a recurring theme. Now I admit, I wasn't hard on Jones and felt everyone was making too big of a deal because I felt he wasn't hurting anyone but himself. But when the mother of your kids is being hurt, that's a whole other story. And when your very own kids are calling the cops on you, that's a really bad look. Jones just needs help, therapy, rehab, something. And that's all I got for now. Metro Police, Flores 18405, how may I help you? Hey, this is Eduardo with Caesars Public Security. Hi. Hey, um, we've got a possible DV call, a uh, domestic violence call. Um, female is bleeding from the nose and mouth. Um, she, Do you know where this happened at? Uh, we believe it happened in the room. Do you know um, uh, 6716. So she's, she's not... Um, She's not admitting to any domestic, any domestic violence, any physical violence. Um, but I mean, she's bleeding from the nose and mouth. Um, she's down with us while the male is up at the room. Um, and he's actually a professional MMA fighter, Jonathan Jones. Um, and she's like refusing to go back to the room. We're trying to assist her to like have her grab her stuff. Um, and she okay. just. So I just had a few questions back. to ask. He's still in the room. She's not in the room. Do you know a date of birth for him? Uh, yeah, let me see. <clears throat> Give me one sec, sorry. It's okay. You said he's a professional MMA fighter? Yeah, John Jones. Is he a BMA? Yeah, BMA. Um... If you don't know his date of birth, it's okay. Uh, it should be... And did she tell you that? Let me see. No, she's, uh, she's, she's trying to get, yeah, it's a little weird because she's trying to get assistance, but she, like, she's refusing to go back up to the room. Okay. And um, she's in she, security holding right now? 
no, she's on the casino floor, and she, I, I believe they're her three daughters. She has three, three young girls with her. Are you guys out with her on the casino floor? Yeah. So we're we're with the female. We believe the male is by himself up at the room. We haven't made contact with him at all. Okay. And do you have a name for her at all? Uh, Jesse. J- Hold on. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, Jesse Moses. Do you know how to spell her last name? Yeah, M O S E S. And do you have a date of birth for her? Sorry, say that one more time. Do you have a date of birth for her? <laughs> and her first name is it J E S S I E Jesse? Yes. And is she white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? Uh, I believe she's a white female. Okay. And do you know what she's wearing? Uh, yeah, she's got. Uh, she's got a gray sweater, gray sweats, no shoes. Okay. And did you guys get medical for her already? Uh, like first aid, but she's not requesting EMS and stuff. She's refusing medical? Yeah. Okay. Let me just confirm with you. Okay. 217, does she want, uh, medical? Not yeah, negative on medical. Okay. All right. So we have a call set up. Our event's going to be one zero one seven five eight, and we'll get an officer out there as soon as we can. Sorry, say that one more time. One zero one. One zero one seven five eight. Seven five eight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. You should go now. Run. No. I won't leave you here. We can run together. Listen, if we run together, they will shoot us from behind. We both die. So, how's it about you here? They will kill you. No, don't worry about me. I will help them. I want you to promise me to survive, to take this message for our country.